$1,520 from stock to stage one. $1,610, and that's provided you do all the work yourself. Harley shirts from Israel, poker chips. So uh, head on to the website. So thank you guys very much. I love you guys. Okay, just got home from the DMV. And my plan was, the last few days, it's 40 degrees, finally. It was cold up till now. And my plan was, once it hits this temperature, I'm gonna wash my bike and talk a little bit about uh, the cost and the price, how much it cost me to do the upgrade. And the day that I try to uh, schedule to do the bike, look what I have in my front yard. So like I said before, Whenever I take my phone out and start filming, these guys collect, collect the garbage and they actually know when I'm filming to come and make noise to, to ruin my video. So we're gonna struggle, we're gonna push through this, but it's the only day that I have a, above a freezing temperature. So let's take the bike out, wash the bike finally with all, from all the salt that I had uh, from riding it back from uh, Nadal's place back home. And I'll tell you a little bit uh, what it cost me and what it might cost you to upgrade from a stock to stage one and stage one to stage two or directly from a, a stock to stage two. And so it's gonna be the usual ritual of me taking the bike out and then uh, we're gonna clean it. Truth is I'm not, I'm not a guy that cleans my bike too much. That's the truth. I think this is pre pretty much gonna be my second or third time ever. Yeah, don't hate me for that. Anyway, going to clean it up because the roads were really bad, salty. Look, 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 just as an example. Think of that. The highways are full with that. That salt goes into the smallest cracks, the bearings, the gaskets, the rubber, the, the, uh, all the uh, plastics, whatever, and it corrodes it. It eats it up. So... Uh, very bad for the bike. I need to clean it up. It's a good chance for me to talk to you, tell you about uh, what's going on. Tomorrow is the big reveal. Uh, I'm excited. John, I'm going to go to uh, hang out with John and we'll be... Hey, Pico. Yeah, hey, Pico. Pico. Pico was uh, injured a, lot, a day ago. His his toe, like his, his toenail over there, split or something like that. So he wasn't himself. Look, see how he's licking it? Anyway, I'm going to be with John, Cycle Fanatics. I'm going to watch the live event. Really excited what, what's to come. What models, what new models. Psyched about it, actually. Pick the bike up, wash it. There you go. Now let's get some hot water. A bucket, hot water. Zip wash, car wash and wax. I'm sure everybody has his own, his own uh, soap, his own liquid that he want, likes to use. Nice and steaming water. I've seen the expert use the experts use this. Oh my God! Oh, it's nice and warm. Uh, let's start with going from uh, stock to stage one. Can you actually see me? Okay, going from stock to stage one. So pretty much. What you need for stage one to open up the engine, you need to let more air in and let more air out. So obviously you need a new uh, high, high flow air filter, air cleaner, this guy over here. And in my case, I did the Arlen S, I have a video about it. That's, that's actually $160. And you wanna open up uh, the back so you get more air going out of the engine. And for that, you need a pipe, I need a new exhaust system. And in my case, high-performance high uh, exhaust system. In my case, I used uh, the Vance & Heinz Pro Pipe 2 into 1. And that's where the, the bulk of the money goes uh, when you go from stock to stage 1. In my case, it costs uh, $900. And obviously, once you let uh, new air uh, going in and uh, air going out, providing more, more power to the motor, the motor, the engine needs to know how to deal with that. And for that, you need to tune the bike. And for that, you have many options out there. The most common known is the Vance & Hein Fuel Pack 3. 
And that's what I used in that case, in my case, and that was around $460. The Vance & Hines has a lot of maps on it for whatever setup you have. That's pretty much uh, all you do in stage one. Obviously, whatever you do on stage one uh, carries forward for your next stages because you got a high flow air intake, you got the new pipe. So it's always stuff that you can use. Even the tuner, and we'll talk about that later. If to tally up the whole thing, was 15 almost it's almost it's like a little bit over 15 uh, 20 dollars from stock to stage to stage one now that's something i did a while ago i did it with uh, john and uh it was fun doing it there's actually a video how he did it but if you take it to a, a mechanic to a shop it will, they will charge you the labor and sometimes a little bit markup on the parts i'm not sure my case already was at stage one. And uh, as you've seen already, we've done an upgrade from stage one to stage two. And that mean, that pretty much uh, is all about, let me just change, change the position right here. Okay, for stage two, hope you can hear me properly with all the noise over there. For stage two, pretty much you're doing a cam swap, changing the whole, uh, I would say the timing, the opening up the valves, the timing of the valve, how far up they go. And of course, there are different cam options out there. I went with the 468 by Zippers, Redshift 468, which is a torque enhancing uh, cam, gives you more torque. Uh, there's the 475, I think uh, SNS 475, that gives you uh, more uh, horsepower. So first thing you want, first thing you do is uh, the camshaft itself. Like I said, the 468 is around $300, and that comes with uh, the camshaft bearing that's one thing you always replace when you're when you're doing a cam job uh, give it a nice scrub then we'll get the wheels next thing you want this is an option I didn't do it because like I said I was doing it on a budget and I did not need any bike that's uh, 19 and uh, younger uh, the Harley oil pump is really good so if you do decide anyway you want to change the oil pump SNS comes out with an oil pump and a cam plate, which they say the cam plate is better. That would cost you, it's pretty hefty, it's $800 kit. To remove the camshaft itself, that's very tricky. What I actually mean is to remove, let me get you here, to remove the bearing. The, removing the bearing is a very critical component, and if it doesn't come out properly, you can damage the whole area where the, with the, where the bearing goes. So for that, you need a tool, in my case, Nadal had, but that tool costs uh, $250. The next thing you need are the tappets and the tappet cuffs. Those two are SNS tappets that I got are $250 and the cuffs are another, another $70. Next thing are the push rods. I think we call it the Quickie by SNS. Adjustable push rods and their covers. The whole set is $280, my case. For the whole job, you need gaskets and O-rings. So they, they actually send, uh, they sell a kit of O-rings and gaskets for that job. That's not too expensive, that's $30. There's an option uh, that they suggest all over, all, all over the web, that if you're doing already a cam, might as well change that little sprocket. They call it, listen to this name, cam chain drive sprocket. That's that little sprocket that's on the bottom. And the Harley stock one is a bit wobbly. The fit is a little wobbly. So the ones that they offer, I, I got mine by fueling. I got mine by fueling and that cost me $60. In my case, I had to visit the, the local shop. It cost me around $100 to extract that, that bolt that broke on us, if you remember, the whole drama that we had over there. So that was like around $100 that trip for stage two you need a tuner but in my case i already had uh the fuel pack fuel pack three so called up vance and heinz and they sent to my phone the new map that would fit uh, the specific cam so that was free but don't forget that i'm gonna have uh you can ride like that the map is close enough i don't know if it's good we'll know in a few in a few weeks once i have my bike tuned by JD Cycles. In my case, I'm, uh, I opted in to get my uh, bike professionally tuned, so that is up to your, uh, your tuner, whatever it costs. I don't know, I have to talk to Dave, and obviously you need to get a new tuner because not all tuners can be, can be programmed proper, uh, properly, and there's uh, tuners, uh, some professional tuners prefer to work with uh, one uh, tuner, 
and the other. So I'll probably need to get the, a different tuner. So let me tally it all up. I did this and this and this and this, this. I got to 1,090. That is from a, that's from a stage one to a stage two. Remember, if I had to buy bearing removal tool 250 and another $800 for, for the cam plate and for the fuel pump, that's another $800. Total was 1,050. So that's an optional. In my case, I didn't do that. So it's 1,090. So total parts from stage one to stage two, that came out to 1,090. If you're gonna go directly from stock to stage two, add those two up, it's 2,610. And that's provided you do all the work yourself. If you're gonna do it with a professional uh, installer or a mechanic or a shop, just add, uh, the hours, how much that uh, would cost you. So those, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you. I have a few more things to update you. Uh, some of you actually asked about uh, if I still have shirts uh, on my website, then yeah, guys, uh, Sean, my daughter came uh, to visit a few weeks ago and she bought a lot of Harley shirts from Israel, poker chips. So uh, head on to the website, check out uh, hats, shirts, things that I brought from Israel. I actually also got really, really cool stickers. I'll show you very soon. If you're interested, uh, it really helps the channel. And I, I thank you for that. Additionally, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Look at these saddlebag liners. See those uh, saddlebag liners by by Advan Black. I have a set for you, and they're going for you. They're gonna be raffled out. Uh, there's like ten more days for the raffle, and it's free entry. So just it's pretty much make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and then go to my website and send me an email saying, "Hey, this is my YouTube username," and uh, sign me up for a free uh, for the free entry. So go ahead and do that. Next thing that I want to talk about, uh, I want to put out a very big shout out to my buddies, to my crew, all my friends over there. Good people, good friends. Both Nadal's helped me with this build, with this bike build. So I thank them very, very much. FNR was there to help me, help me out actually when the bike uh, got stuck and we had to remove that, uh, that bolt. So he brought his trailer and his, and his truck and we trailered the bike to the shop. So thank you so much for that. And all the rest of the guys, that Glenn that helps out, uh, and all the guys, the rest that weren't there physically but were there online and helping with, you know, tips and ideas and support. So, and obviously John John. So thank you guys very much. I love you guys. Advan Black, I'm so excited with the Blackbird over here to get the whole rear end conversion. I have all the boxes back there. You see? All the boxes back here waiting to be all installed. So next few days I'm gonna get uh, started already. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that. I think I pretty much covered every topic I wanted to. And how do I know that I finished this video is because they finally stopped working. So that's it. If I think of something else, I'll log on back again. So that's it guys. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, cleaning session. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift. Until the next video guys, peace out. Ugh. Look who I see, I see Scott over here 
working right uh, right uh, over here on my street. Came to say hello. He's a subscriber to the channel for for a long, long time. We actually took a nice ride together. Yeah, we right at Stor times. Storm Storm. That's uh, right. We in Storm King. Yeah. yeah that's that was right. cool. Thank and you so much. And we went to uh, Rhodes after that. And had a, right. Right. A beer. Had a little lunch and yeah, beer at Rhodes. Yeah. Nice. It was yep. cool. Yeah. Looking good. Thanks. <laughs>now that i look at it that guy has to be replaced it's polished aluminum and it's just not bringing out the shine i need to chrome uh chrome plate it or actually i can find i think a used on ebay or somewhere a chrome let's see if i can get this cleaned up i don't promise anything i'm just doing a little experiment over here Wow, look at that. There's a part I left here untouched. You see that? Look at the rest. That's pretty cool, that's untouched. Let me clean that up as well. How about that? Never attempted before, at least I haven't. <laughs> what a very nice job. Let me get a let me get a cold start over here. Haven't heard the the bike in quite a while, ever since I put the cam in. And you know, Dave, if Dave is gonna see this video, he's gonna like freak out. Don't start the engine for no reason. But I have to check the oil anyway. So let's just do it. Listen to the bike from inside the house. How deep is that rumble? Right, Pico? Right, sweetie? Good dog. Okay, now for real, peace out. Bye for real, bye.